Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Uh, I don't usually like doing gear reviews, I figure there's enough of that out there. Um, but when I do come across something that really works real well, especially when it fills a need um, that is occupied with a lot of other kind of lousy products, I like to uh, I, li I like to share that. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, you know go right to the good stuff instead of having to go through all the junk that I found that I had to go through. Um, and um, the the product that I wanted to talk about is uh, hot water bottles. Uh, a lot of the modern day hot water bottles, uh, if you can think of them, they're the you know the red bladders and they have a little screw on top and everything. Um, a lot of the modern ones have a plastic plug in the top, um, a little plastic uh, corkscrew that they they screw into, um, and they have warnings on them that you got to make sure you don't put. Essentially, they warn you not to put hot water in them. Um, and the reason for that is because if you put water in that's too hot, like, you know, boiling water, uh, you can crack the, the plastic in the top. Now, as to why anyone would manufacture a hot water bottle that couldn't really take particularly hot water, you know, that's a whole other discussion. Um, but uh, I, I had an old hot water bottle. Uh, that uh, had a metal a metal screw that you actually used to be able to hot, put hot water into and I, for, I, I lost it or it just got too old and it broke. I, for, I forget the specifics of it, but I was looking for some new hot water bottles and I went through a bunch of old ones, uh, a bunch of the, these, you know, these new generation ones with the plastic, kept trying funnels to get, you know, get the hot water to go past the, uh, the plastic so I wouldn't crack it, etc, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, they're kind of junk today. I've gone through a bunch of them and I, I feel comfortable saying that they're all junk. Um, they all all broken exactly the same way, you know. Hold it in, put the hot water in, cracks the plastic, doesn't work anymore. Leaks all over the place. Um, the reason I use hot water bottles is when I'm camping. Uh, I'm in the White Mountains uh, this week, and it's kind of it's kind of chilly at night. Um, I've got you know sleeping bags and things like that, but uh, nothing nothing guarantees you being warm better than having a hot water bottle wherever you are. Um, uh, so what I I went looking for uh, for something that would work, and I came up with this, and it's made by MSR. Uh, now these are water bladders, and they're they're kind of made. I mean, they got a little drinking sprite here. They're made for you know drinking water, um, but they advertise that you could boil them. So that's what I do with them. Uh, fill them up with water, about like this. Uh, you don't want to over uh, fill them because well, what does overfill them mean? You don't want to fill them to absolute capacity because if you do boil them and then the water inside inside starts boiling, that means it's turning into gas, it's expanding, and you could pop the thing. So you want to leave it, you know, a little bit jiggly. So if you accidentally do boil a little of the water in there, it's not going to explode on you. Um, but take a couple of these, put them in a pot with some other water. I put a little separator on the bottom of the pot, a um, little piece of metal, so that. Uh, the, this plastic isn't in direct contact with the metal at the bottom. Maybe that's necessary. Maybe it's a, you know it's an unnecessary precaution. Um, but I, I, I do that just to be on the safe side. Um, but these work great. I brought them out a number of times. Uh, the only uh, the only uh, you know issue that I have with them is that the, the top up here it's made up made out of plastic, just like the other ones. Apparently, this plastic can be boiled. Um, but what I don't like, is, and especially when they're hot, is when you're going to tighten them down, I, f I feel like I could rip the, s the threading apart in there. And I, I don't like products where you kind of have to be sort of gentle with them in that way. I, I like if you're wanting to tighten something down that you can, you can tighten it down. Um, and that's the one thing about these that just worries me a little is that, you know, obviously you want to tighten it enough so that it's secure, but then at the same time you don't want to over tighten it so that you rip through the threading and, and then, you know, it, then it becomes useless. So, so that would that'd be my one critique of these, um, these little bladders. And uh, other than that, they work really well. But I take a few of these, the other ones back here, you know, I'll just heat them up and uh, obviously when you get these out of the boiling water there, boiling hot so you don't want to be you know putting them right up up against your skin what I do with these is I'll wrap them in a coat um, and sleeping bags oftentimes come with you know their own kind of carry case so I'll wrap them up in a coat and then put it inside here close this up and then you can put this right in the in the bed with you I have not had any issues with them leaking yet like I said I've taken them out a few times but they work really well and if you're worried about being in a place where you might get cold or in a bug out situation where you really don't know what the situation is going to be 
and it might be cold, it's a great thing to have in your in your emergency pack because they, they fold up really small. You just fill them up with water and then you heat them up, and they're they pretty much guarantee that you're going to be alive come next morning. You're not going to die of hypothermia. Um, so I would highly recommend them. Have you ever used things like this? Have you had similar issues with like the regular hot water bottles uh, that you know are in, in, in my experience completely useless? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.